Hey guys, Virgil here with Crazy Cyber logging on. I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way that I found to create a custom evil portal. All of these products, as well as any relevant links for files or software like VS Code and QFlipper, will be linked down below for your convenience. If you are getting some value from this content, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, as well as checking out crazycyber.com. The GitHub repository that contains those files is linked down below in the description. And if you're not sure how to load them, again, check out that API mismatch video, where I go in depth on the process, as well as changing my Flipper's firmware to the Unleashed firmware, which, if you're into what we're doing today, I highly recommend. Um, it has a lot more capabilities, an upgraded user interface, and it's all, all around a really good upgrade from the stock firmware, which I highly recommend. All of the Evil Portal files, which we are going to be using as a template for our own custom portal. As you can see, they have a, for, uh, a folder here called Portals. Now, to simplify things, we can download that folder if you already have the, the Wi-Fi Marauder file. I will right-click on one of the Portal files, as, and I'm going to select Open With, and then select VS Code. And now, as you can see, the HTML code in the Evil Portal is now open in VS Code. It's right here up on the screen. So we're going to be looking for something similar to that through this code. And so I'll get into, um, you know, kind of the details behind that in just a second. But um, if you're struggling to find the image in, in your code, a quick tip to find out the exact code that you're looking for is to open one of the evil portals in your browser, right click on the image, and select inspect element. Now this will open a window um, at, at some place in your browser, usually it's on the bottom, that will show you the code that is linked to whatever element that you're inspecting. As we scroll through the HTML code that creates this portal, Eventually, we come to this section that has the image element that we're looking for. Now, what we need to do in order for the flipper to be able to serve it, and serve it effectively and efficiently, is we are going to base64 encode this image, and we are going to work with a JPEG for this first example. So with that being said, our next step is to take our downloaded JPEG and use our base64 encoding website, convert this image into HTML code that we can then replace the line we previously mentioned with. After that line has been replaced, we can then save our work and run the code in the browser and check out how our portal looks, make sure it looks how it should, and make any fine-tuning adjustments that we need to make in order to get it to look how we want. And it's linked down below for anybody that wants to use the same encoder. So as you can see, it's super simple. Just select Browse in the local file section, upload your image, and for the output format, which we select here, we are going to select HTML image with the image tag. So we need to copy this in its entirety for it to work. If we, it's just best to hit this with a Control A and a Control C. So we take our base64 code and we replace the current image data with our new data. Now we're gonna save this as a new file so we don't overwrite the old one in case we want to use that file at some point. And now if we come over here in VS Code to the little play button, we can now run this code in the browser and see how it looks. And we'll just go ahead and select this, and boom, there it is. As you can see, we have our new image in the browser window looking official, it's sized correctly and looks good, it's centered over the signup form, and we are looking really legitimate and official. And I'll also show you guys how that looks on mobile and as you can see everything scaled beautifully all right guys so here we are back at our portal that we just created and you can see that it says use your Amazon account so the only thing we have left to do is to change that field go ahead and right click it and inspect the element so as we scroll through this you can see it took us right to the field that we needed h2 we can see right here along this line that's what we're looking for so we're gonna scroll down to the field that we need uh, and here it is right here h2 so we're gonna call this generic company account we're gonna say use your generic company account debug and boom there it is what we need to do now is we need to actually add that portal to our flipper and click on the file manager so you're gonna go to sd cards apps data evil portal and then html and that's where you're gonna add it so now we're just simply gonna grab our oops we're gonna grab our generic company portal that we created and we're just gonna drop it right in there from the main menu, right here, on the Unleashed firmware, at least, you're going to hit the middle button, go to apps, I just hit up because then it takes me straight to Wi-Fi, go down one to Evil Portal. Okay, we need to do a couple things from this menu. So we need to go to set the HTML, and we are going to go to our generic, there we go. So there, we've set the HTML. We're going to set the access point name to something short, so we're just going to say, all right, now we're going to save that. So now we've set the only two things that we really need to take care of manually from the flipper. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to select Start Portal. Okay, so you can see here we've got our IP address and we have our notification down at the bottom, second to last line besides the little cursor, that our web server is up. Here's the Wi-Fi menu of, our t of my uh, older tablet. 
Um, I'm doing on this just because it's just yet another device to show you guys the scaling works properly. So here is our network, GC, but it's going to give us a notification to sign into the network. We're going to tap on that, select that, and there it is, guys. Now, I'm going to show you that it does, in fact, work, and it does return the credentials. I've showed that in the beginning of the video in the intro, but, you know, I'm going to show you again. So we're just going to make the, the stuff, you know, and there you have it. The username and the password return to the flipper zero. And there you have it, guys. That is how you make your own custom evil portal. A dual AMD Epic 7551 CPU XM rig minor build, which is going to be absolutely crazy. Two 32 core CPUs, 64 cores, 128 threads in total, over half a terabyte of RAM, and custom open chassis designed and fabricated by me, as well as a custom hardline water cooling system for it. It's going to be a monster of a build, guys. I'm extremely excited for it. We got some parts in on the way for it, um, including a brand new TIG welder for the fabrication. So, um, I think that's going to be a really amazing build, guys. And if you want to see it, uh, subscribe because I should be hopefully beginning the fabrication process on the chassis uh, sometime next week. And hopefully, have that next video in the series coming out in about two weeks, uh, give or take, with editing and you know how things go. But I hope you guys have a great night. Mike with Crazy Cyber, logging off.